Good morning guys, my name's Trevor. Welcome back to the Arctic Vet YouTube channel. Today, we're going to read our Bible a little bit different. Got a little uh, RuneScape action on the background here for you guys to enjoy. While I go ahead and read chapter 10 of Genesis from our Bible. Before I get there, I want to let you guys know that you can get the same exact Bible that I am reading from in the description below by using our link. And if you guys do use that link, we appreciate it because we may earn commission off of the links down below. They are Amazon affiliate links, so thank you all very much. Now, let's go ahead and dive right on in to chapter 10 on, of Genesis. Nations descended from Noah. Genesis 10. These are the generations of the sons of Noah, Shem, Ham, Japheth. Sons were born to them after the flood. The sons of Japheth, Japheth, Gomer, Mago, Madi, Madai, Javan, Tuban, Tublo, Mish. Meshlech and Tyrus. I apologize for terribly pronouncing names. The, the sons of Gomer, Ashkenaz, Riphath, and Togomar, Togoma? Then sons of Javan, Eli, El, Eliza, Tarshish, Kittim and Dudenim. From these, the coast land peoples spread in their lands, each with their his own language by their clans and in their nations. The sons of Ham, Cush, Egypt, Put, and Canaan. The sons of Cush, Seb. Seba, Havila, Sabbath, that's not quite Sabbath, but Ramaha, and Sabetek, Sabteka, Sabteka, the sons of Rama, Sheba, I feel like I'm pronouncing these terribly, and Deden, Deden, Kush fathered Nimrod. He was the first on earth to be a mighty man. He was a mighty hunter before the Lord. Oh goodness, let's turn that desktop audio down. Woo. There we go. Sorry about that. Loud audio. <clears throat> Nimrod, the mighty, the mighty hunter before the Lord. The beginning of his kingdom was Abel. Babel. Kingdom was Babel, Erich, Akkad, and Kalin, and the land of Shinar. From that land he went into Azria and built Nineveh, Nineve, Rebo. Well, re Hobototh, e Kala, and resin between Ninth and Kala. That is the great city. Egypt fathered Ludium, Ludium, and Anamim, Lehembe, Nath, Path. I'm going to shorten these. I can't even pronounce them. Kestlothim, from whom the Philistines came, and Capertorum. Oh my goodness, I apologize, guys. So, <laughs> try and get past these names. Canaan fathered Sidon, 
his firstborn and Heth and Jebusites and Amorites and Gerthersites, the Hivites and Archerites and Sinites, the Arvidites, the Zimmerites again, and Hamathites. Afterwards, the clans of Canaanites dispersed, and the territory of the Canaanites extended from Sidon in the direction of Gerar, as far as Gaza, and in the direction of Sodom, Gor Gomara, Adama, and Z oh, Zibon, as far as Lash, these are the sons of Ham, by their classes, their languages, their lands, and their nations. To Shem, also the father of all the children of Eber, the oldest brother of Japheth, children were born. The sons of Shem, Elm, Asher, Arpachshad, Lud, and Aram. The sons of Aram, Uz, Uz, maybe Uz. Hol, Gether, and Mash. Our Pakshad fathered she Shelah, and Shelah fathered Eber, Eber. To Eber, who were born two sons, the name of one was Helig, for in his days the earth was divided, and his brother's name was Jotekin. Jotekin. Jokatan? 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 Jokatan sounds, feels a little better. <laughs> Hadarim, Yuzel, Baglal, Abal, Abilene, Sat, Sebeth, and a few more. <laughs> All these were the sons of Jokatan. The territory in which they lived extended from Mesa in the direction of Sephar to the hill country of the east. These are the sons of Noah according to their genealogies and their nations, and these nations spread abroad on earth after the flood. And that brings us to chapter 11. And holy... Moly, I apologize for terribly pronouncing every one of those names. Because let's just face the fact that I am not a great reader. And, well, it's my first time reading through the Bible entirely. So, we will get there. And when we, when we get to a better spot of reading, as I get better... We will uh, definitely not stumble over some of these names. And I, I look forward to that day. Anyhow, if you guys enjoyed this video, please smash that thumbs up. Don't forget to drop a comment down below. Uh, let me know. I, Thanksgiving's coming up, and I want to know what you are thankful for. So in the comments down below, let me know what you're thankful for. Give me like either one or maybe the top five things. The first or top five things. And I want to tell you guys right now what I am thankful for. And what I said I was thankful for at, thanks, at, at Friendsgiving with our church. And it boils down to one simple person. And that is Jesus. I am thankful for Jesus. I am thankful for him. Thankful for God. Jesus was sent to earth. For us to have a way. He is the way for us to get to heaven. To be with God. That is why I'm very thankful for him. Because someday. I want to be in heaven. And I hope that I find you guys there too. See you guys there. And. I hope that my kids also. Get there. That they, they find their way with Jesus. And that they do it sooner than I did. That's, that's like. 
one of my biggest goals in life is I want them to know Jesus a lot sooner and a lot better sooner earlier in their lives than I did in mine. It took a lot of hard uh, trials and lessons for me to really, I, I suppose, hit the bottom and know that I need Jesus every single day. And I thank Jesus every single day, multiple times a day for the good for the bad you guys know you've you've heard it before and anyways that's that's what i'm thankful for and so with that being said thank you guys all for tuning in don't forget to click the red subscribe button we will catch you tomorrow with a, another vlog and i'm pretty excited for it it's gonna be a fun one i've just got to get the gopro working right <laughs> so have a great night and we'll catch you tomorrow god bless don't ever give up, God is here with you yeah. You are a child, nothing but love is true Just got to fix of you, keep your eyes on the prize That's life everlasting, only through Jesus Christ He came to die